say that there has not been any effort from the school or the district to even apologize. Fox 40's Jeannie Nguyen tells us what happened and what they want that teacher to know. That family tells me an English teacher here at Sheldon High School used a word that was not only offensive but hurtful during what was supposed to be a lesson. Now that family says they want the district to hand down strict consequences so this doesn't continue to happen to other students. At Sheldon High School, the motto is clear. It values respect, integrity, tolerance, and empathy. But for this family, I was sick to my stomach. It's anything but that. I saw that he was flushed. He looked like he was hurt. Issa Jeffwa says her 11th grade son, Jai Coleman, called her Tuesday morning explaining that his English teacher had used a racial slur towards him. Jai says what started as English class turned into a geography lesson. If you were shipped off here, you would be called a Negro because you're black and then she said my name and then said Jai says another classmate of his was also used as an example during this teacher's lesson. Frustrated, he tried to confide in the teacher's aide, but only got shut down. The aide was just saying like, you'll hear it out through your, out your life, you should be used to it. And I was and I was thinking that's not okay. One way or another, she shouldn't be saying it. Not only that, but Jeff Waugh says this is a lesson that should not be taught at school. That is not a lesson that should be taught from a teacher who's never experienced that type of hate. And if the roles were reversed and Jai was caught using a racial or offensive slur, his dad says the consequences would be much worse. We'd be looking for another school district for my son to go to. The family sent this letter to the superintendent and the principal, but only got a short response from the vice principal, saying a meeting will be arranged soon. For community activist Barry Axius, he believes this should be an opportunity for the district and staff to learn. We want to help bridge the gap so teachers and as well as students can understand there's certain words and certain behaviors you should not have. A spokesperson with Elk Grove Unified School District claims American literature teachers do analyze a book called Their Eyes Were Watching God, which includes racially sensitive language. The district says it's working with teachers on how to deliver the lesson and will have support systems at school for students. For the time being, the family has taken Jai out of that English class, but they will allow him to continue his education here at Shelton. In Sacramento County, Jeannie Nguyen, Fox 40 News.